first time in the John Messinio era. A very good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning, Tom. Lovely sunny day, mate. Looking forward to this. The winds have changed. The winds have changed. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Forno. Written all over it, as I just said there. It is, uh, we've had a changing of the guard in the last couple of weeks. I'm sure you've seen it well documented and well documented here on Forno. Written all over it if you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, Andrew, you very much should be. I think we should point that out. That's what we should do, subscribe. We've had so many live streams. There's been so much going on. So much content in the last couple of weeks. I'm really glad that you've been enjoying what we've been putting out for you because numbers have been um, pretty mental in January so far, haven't they? <laughs> it's, been, it's been busy. I think it might be for reasons rather than for new. I don't think it's us, personally, yeah, no. I don't, no, I don't no, think it's your no, appeal. No. Well, having been round the houses on almost every championship and League One manager out of, out of the job, and, you know, it was at one point it was going to be Chris Wilder was a name because a popular choice for Pompey fans, Grant McCann, and even Michael Appleton having come out of a job at Blackpool, and we ended up with Oxford United set-piece coach. Exactly. No right. one saw that one coming. No, they didn't. Let's no. see what uh, it's exciting now, isn't Mr. it? Mr. Bet365 is absolutely rolling in it. I bet, I'll bet he is, mate, and I wish I'd had a tenner on it. Please gamble responsibly. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, I will always support this football club because it's my club and my team, and I love them the bits. Probably fans are all the same. We support the team, whatever, don't we? And we've got to get behind the team and got to get behind this guy because we've got no choice, have we? Let's just get up behind the team today and let's win this game and let's project ourselves up into the championship. Exeter, that's very, very confident. Exeter City making the trip to Fratton Park. Actually, the team that we played our best football against in the last four or five months, I would say, other than take Spurs out of the equation. Name me one game where we played good football it was Exeter City. We've got to use our aerial threat, Tom. That's what we've got to do. We've got to use the wide men and get those balls in high because because they are a very small team. Given the new manager bounce and we know what, what kind of effect that can have on a football team for the first couple of games, we're expecting a barnstorming special John 4-0 win today. I think John, John, I spoke to him last night and he reckons 4-0. Did you? Yeah, I had a little word with John. I said, Johnny, can we bang four past this lot today, please, and cheer me right up. <laughs> We're going to see a different attitude with the players. Hopefully play a 4-3-3. 2-1. Score, big man. 2-1. How are the chips? Good. They nice. look horrendous, if I'm honest with you. They don't look like they've been cooked. They don't look great. 4-0 it like it. 10,000 nil Pompey. 2-1 Exeter. I'll say 1-0 Pompey. 2-0 uh, Pompey. 4-0. Oh, see, that, that is the most sensible one we've had so far. Let me. 2-0. 2-0. What do you reckon, mate? 2-0 as well. Very no. green from Exeter, I don't know. But, you, you are quite, I was going to say, it was a bit concerning. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's, he's got it out there. Yeah. He's got it on. We've got Matt Macy in goal, haven't we? We have. So, he's a tall, like, 6 foot 7 or something like that. Yep. And he can um, get down to him as well, which is yeah. very important. I think we might score as John Massino, new manager, and yeah. What do you make of him? Yeah, good. I mean, at least we've got someone in the building. I think he's going to be one, one, two. In terms of you're going to win? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers not to speak. You're unbeaten in the league since you last played you on Boxing Day. So you've had that barnstormer against Bristol Rovers. Yeah. A bit more of a boring one against Forest Green. Expectations for today, score-wise? I, I think it'll be another tight one like it was on Boxing Day. Um, I can see it going 1-0, 2-1 either way, to be honest. You've you got your new manager. You might get a bit of a bounce. You know, he's asked the players to give their all and all that, but we'll see what happens. The bounce from Pompey, though. New manager, new new form, maybe. But as you said, Exeter are unbeaten since Boxing Day. I think 3-1. They've got a good attacking form. If he was, he was, he was the best in the interviews, then we've got to give him a show, haven't we? We've got to just see what he's about. My heart says 2-1, but I, I could see another draw today. What do you reckon, mate? It's a 2-0 win today. Did yeah. you tell me what your score was going to be? Yeah, 2-0. 2-0. Lots of tributes to be paid today. Yeah. In particular, one for this little chap. Yeah. Um, just brings it home. My son's 11, so it just um, brings it all down at home today. So yeah, just to set the booms off in the eighth, eighth minute. I was going to say 1-1, but I changed my mind to 2-1 because I felt like when we won against Peterborough in September, we won 2-1 and it felt like this. So, so we've gone round vibe, in a circle, so. haven't we? Yes, yeah. yeah. had those sort of vibes. Put it there, really. Nice to see you. Enjoy you the game. It's a new era, isn't it, again? Again? Yeah, I hate We've had lots of new again. eras recently, haven't we? Is this the one? I hope so. It's a different direction to, you know, compared to Jacket and Cowley, where we've had uh, people come in with promotions and success in the past. New head coach, no CV. Let's give him a chance, see what happens. I'm going 2 1 Pompey. Remind me what you just said to me when you came over. What did I say? You I'm said, your, yeah. I'm you, your oldest friend. Yeah, and you're not, are you, Debs? Come on. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You're not a day over 22, Debs. Come on. Anton walks, really sad. 
Well, obviously, we'll pay our respects today. What the club's got planned for that, maybe a minute of applause before the game, I'll definitely be on my feet for that one there. Big, big fan of Anton when he was here at the club and always gave his all for us. Um, it is a shame for all three people to pass so early. Never a good, a good time. To, to bury your children, as, as my mother-in-law used to say. What we a send-off. Yeah, we want a proper send-off. I'm sure it's going to happen on the relevant minutes throughout the game. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Pompey will do them proud. Rest in peace, guys. Are you looking forward to this today? And what do we think the score might be today, Jack? That's the way to do it, isn't it? It'll be nice to see a new man in, 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 in here at last. Could it be the most interesting choice you've seen? It's the, very, it's the most interesting, definitely. The score's going to be 2-0. I said that on Thursday on the live, and, and I'll stick to the 2 0. 4 0 win all over it. What do you reckon? Is he right or wrong? I think 2 1 Pompey. Yeah, 3 0. What do you reckon of the new manager, mate? Yeah, he's all right. I've seen his, like, his interviews and stuff. He looks yeah. decent. 3 2 Pompey. 1 0 Pompey. 1 0 Bishop. That's what I'm hoping for. What's your son's name? Jack. Jack. Hello, Jack. I'm here with Debs. Jack She's on the channel. <laughs> Jack's in Sheffield at uni, he'd ja be here if he could Jack's be. now got his head in his hands going, oh my god, my mum's on YouTube, isn't he? He's used to being very embarrassing mum. <laughs> I can okay. imagine. The thoughts of everyone at Portsmouth Football Club are with Anton's family and friends at this incredibly sad time and will be wearing black armbands for the game. We're going to remember him now with a minute's applause, which will begin and end on the referee's whistle. Is it better I'm, overall? No, I mean, it couldn't get much worse. No, the bar was pretty low, yeah, wasn't like, it? Yeah. Bolton Bol Bol was, I can't explain how bad Bolton was. Just the whole day in general was horrendous. Um, and I'm doing dry January as well, okay, so it's even good. worse. It's a bit rusty in some areas. Tunnicliffe, I'm really worried about Tunnicliffe. Dale, on the other hand, best player on the pitch. Congratulations on the girl. I oh, know, look at me, Grandpa. He's going to be a granddad. <laughs> it's an improvement, but let's face it, you hit the nail on the head earlier. We couldn't have not improved if we were at rock bottom. We do look a lot livelier and we are containing the ball better. Yeah, we need to start getting, like, we need a goal at Fran Park. Like, we've obviously had moments, we had a goal the other week against it, so it's Pat's goal, but we need a, a goal that we create, one that we pass and move and actually look like we're a bit cohesive. Keeper was fantastic. Well, pulled off two brilliant saves and I was a bit, I've heard a few different things about him, but I suppose you make your own mind up, don't you? I mean, Exeter have looked a good team. I think they've looked really good. I mean, they knocked the ball around well. I really like Giovanni Giov Giov Brown. A great player up front, he looks really lively. They look like a really cohesive team, and a lot of teams that come down here now do. Best chance of the game from Conor Ogilvy, agonisingly wise. Been coming for my little man for a little while, Joe Morell, you little dancer. Ooh.
Well, well, well. <laughs> this place behind us has got a little bit of life and character back to it, hasn't it? What a, in the end, professional, pr almost looks like we've been doing it for weeks, didn't it, really? Um, and you know there's some players in there just hidden behind a bit of a lack of confidence and back to the happy days. Do you remember when we were, we were walking down here at the start of the season going, you've got to get yourselves down to Fratton Park because the atmosphere felt like one of those nights. What did you think? Yeah, I think we came out a bit sluggish, I'd say. I think everyone would admit to that. Yep. I think it was... We started out as the same team as what we've been playing for the last few months. We weren't really there and then I think when the confidence started to pick up, all it was was we just needed that thing of when we started playing blindly, we knew that the play was going to be there yep. instead of just stepping off people and, um, and Ooh, letting them play to can us. Can I hear your voice going a little bit? Can it I? <laughs> But I think once we got that confidence back and we were taking shots instead of trying to get it into the six yard box and then having a shot. Bishop's unfortunate not to get one. Yeah. Um, they all deserve one today as well. Yeah. Delighted for Joe Morrell. He's getting very frustrated now if he's not scoring. Obviously he's a striker and he's not getting the goals. So can we talk about Marlon Mendes? That, that <laughs> strike was just unbelievable. That I think the... that's what it needed. Yeah, yeah. And it was just that thing of it landed perfect and dropping down with it's snow on it. It's going to be a 50-50. It. It's either going to go to the goal as fast as it can or it's going to go over. Massinio said, and what a night he'll be having, by the way. I bet he's got a massive grin on his face. We're absolutely delighted for him. First game in charge, first win, first three points of the John Massinio era. Big, big stuff. Yeah, it's massive. And, it's a um, big moment. I think, obviously... Can you build on it? That's like, the question. Yeah, we can't let it be a fluke. Yep. It has to be concrete now. It's got to be routine, isn't it? We've still got to be realistic in the fact that we were destined for rele relegation and yes. now he's come in and we've just done a performance like that. Yeah, we didn't come out strong, but we've certainly finished like... Oh, the second start, half, like yeah. Started the season. Well, it's been a long time since I've heard Fratton Park in all its glory, smiles on people's faces and the short-term success is to start winning games. Well, I can tell you... We've started winning games. I know it's one, we're not getting ahead of ourselves and we don't on four, no written all over it, never get too high and never try and get too low otherwise. But that was challenged over the last couple of weeks. It's been a long time since I've heard play up Pompey Pompey play up on Goldsmiths Avenue and the streets around Fratton Park. This place has got his heart back, perhaps. Yes, mate. Tough or it's first coming half. back. First turf. The first half. Second half, much better, Tom. Yes. Pompey born and bred. <laughs> Come on, four nil written all over it. We saw Sean and Dave, they'll be watching. I told you the boy was going to score and he has done. Second half feels great, doesn't it? Oh, mate. You get, finally, that winning feeling is back. and we've, we've been devoid of a win for 10 games. 10 games without a win. And we'll bring you every single second of that action. All the highlights will be right here on 4 and all over it. We'll be in Fleetwood. We'll be in Peterborough. Of course we will, because we're back in John Massinio's Blue and White Army. If you're a Villa fan tonight, if you're an Oxford United fan in particular, those two sets of fan bases and Pompey fans, we're all delighted tonight, aren't we? We can all keep smiles on our faces. Happy weekend, Pompey fans. Thank you so much for sticking right to the end. For myself, Andrew, Owen, all the boys that joined us tonight, the talent's come out, the talent's manifested itself, which we know it could. All it takes is that little bit of confidence. And who knows what could we be talking about in a week, a month, a couple of months' time. We're not getting too excited, but I'm buzzing with a win. Thank you. Are you buzzing with a win? I'm buzzing with a win. Thank you. I was like, and then deck then. He's gonna play. <laughs> He's gonna play. He's gonna play. Thank you for watching. Keep the faith. We'll see you on Tuesday night. Can we do it on a cold Tuesday night away at Fleetwood Town? I think we probably can. See you for that. Keep the faith. And as always, play out Pompey. Play out Pompey. Go south. There's a team down.